Although Samus is the heroic bounty hunter who is certainly the face of the franchise, Metroid games have obviously got their name from one of the more ominous creatures of the series. The word Metroid was originally created to be the title of the first game in 1986, and it was a word mashed up from two other words, Metro and Android, which together basically describes Samus's NES character at that point. Now as far as the actual Metroids, they are artificial creatures who were engineered to absorb life energy from its prey through physical contact. According to the lore, basically every living organism has its own life energy. When the Metroids absorb all of the energy, the victim is left looking incredibly famished and completely lifeless, appearing as a solid gray or brown corpse, and is impossible to resuscitate at this point. After the Metroids have attained the new energy, several different things may happen to the creature, including growth, reproduction, or even mutation, which is the root cause of why there are so many different variations of the Metroid species. Considering the ugly appearance of the Metroid and its life-sucking tendencies, you would think that these creatures are evil through and through, and were designed with the intention of causing harm upon others. Well, that's actually not the case. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo, specifically those of the Thoha tribe. The Chozo are an extremely intelligent race of bird-like people who viewed themselves as protectors and overseers of the galaxy. These Thoha Chozo were the same race that raised and trained an orphan Samus after her biological parents were killed by the space pirates. The thing is, the Chozo recognized their own mortality, and due to their increasing age, their ability to reproduce had almost entirely abandoned them. Along with the approaching extinction of the Chozo, they discovered a dangerous and growing threat to the universe, which was the X-Parasite. One of Samus's caretakers was a Chozo known as Old Bird, and he described the X-Parasite as such. The creature took on the host's memories, appearance, abilities, everything. It sucks everything dry, utterly terrifying. Can you not see that if a mimic such as this were to infiltrate a population, it could replicate almost indefinitely. With evil taking the form of an ally, the galaxy could be overthrown. It is truly the worst kind of evil. In games like Metroid Fusion and Metroid Dread, we saw the X use these abilities, replicating themselves and mimicking the likes of the space pirates, Chozo, and even Samus Aran. If left alive, the Chozo understood greatly the dangers of the X-Parasite, as they believed it would grow in numbers, spread geographically, and threaten life as they knew it. The Chozo had the ability to make this knowledge known to the Galactic Federation, which is essentially the unified government of the galaxy. But instead, the Chozo kept this information to themselves and decided to handle this threat on their own. So as a way to preserve their protecting presence over the galaxy, and as a way to put an end to the X-Parasite, the Chozo secretly created the Metroids. They named them Metroids because in the Chozo language, Metroid means ultimate warrior, which was a description intended for the creatures themselves. But fittingly, it ends up being the perfect way to describe Samus, which anyone who beat Metroid Dread can testify to. Under their supervision, the Chozo were first raising an infant Metroid, with the intent of training it to obey their will and serve their purposes. Without completing this training, the Metroids would be erratic, serving only their hunger for energy. As you can imagine, things didn't go according to plan for the Chozo, and before the training could be complete, Metroids were stolen by the Space Pirates, who had the intent of using them as bioweapons. After the pirates occupied some of the Metroids, the species then began to spread from planet to planet, slowly becoming the apex predator of the galaxy. The weapon that was once intended for good was now becoming the enemy that the Chozo feared so deeply. For a time, the Chozo on Zebus and the remaining Metroids lived together in a state of peace. Unfortunately, unforeseen by the Chozo, many of the Metroids began to evolve and become more hostile as a result. They then started to attack every living thing on Zebus, including their own creators, the Chozo. Realizing that their Metroid operation was beyond saving, the Chozo sealed the remaining Metroids underground and fled to the planet's surface for safety. Upon reaching the surface, the Chozo were met with what appeared to be a rescue team in the form of the Makan tribe Chozo. Led by the evil general Ravenbeak, the Makans killed the Thoha tribe. 
Ravenbeak's plan was to steal the remaining Metroids that were sealed underground, and use them to serve as lust for power. That plan ultimately didn't materialize, but that's an explanation for another video. Fortunately for the Thoha Chozo, their legacy was not completely destroyed, as they trained another weapon to be the protector of the galaxy, Samus Aran. Equipped with her suit that was created by the Chozo, and with her genes infused with that of the Chozo, she had abilities far beyond that of a regular human, and was ready to take on the forces of evil. Now spoiler alert for some of the Metroid games, eventually Samus is confronted with an ex-parasite, and becomes infected as it quickly begins to kill her. Fortunately, the Galactic Federation still had Metroid DNA from the last remaining Metroid on SR388, and they used this DNA to create a vaccine for Samus. Combining Samus's DNA with Metroid DNA had significant long-term effects on Samus, although it did completely cure her from the X-Parasite, and as a result, made her immune to the lethality of the X-Parasite altogether. Eventually, the fallen planet SR388 is destroyed, further confirming the extinction of the Thoha Metroids. Later on, as seen in Metroid Dread, Samus's DNA begins to take over her body, turning her into a Metroid, fulfilling the Chozo's claim of a Metroid being the ultimate warrior. The only thing that is known to stabilize her reactive Metroid DNA was an ex-parasite. As soon as Samus acquired the parasite, her body was restabilized. But with the destruction of planet ZDR, the last remaining ex-parasites have been destroyed, and Samus still has Metroid DNA in her, as she continues the legacy and ultimate purpose of the Metroids, once bestowed upon them by the Chozo. Obviously, there's a lot more details to unpack in the seemingly never-ending lore of the Metroid franchise, and I'll discuss those further in future videos. So what do you guys think? Have we seen the last of the Metroids and of the ex-parasites? Or do you think Nintendo will just find a way to bring them back in a future game? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more Metroid and Zelda content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.